Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. I trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. Our psalm today is Psalm 124. It's another one of the songs of ascent. Psalm 124. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side when people attacked us, they would have swallowed us alive when their anger flared against us. The flood would have engulfed us. The torrent would have swept over us. The raging waters would have swept us away. Praise be to the Lord who has not let us be torn by their teeth. We have escaped like a bird from the fowler's snare. The snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Man, I think about that opening line, if the Lord had not been on our side. Now remember, these are songs of ascent. They are praying this, singing this, as they make their pilgrimage, their journey to Jerusalem to worship the Lord. And as they recite this psalm, I just imagine that their mind is just flooded with memories of how the Lord saved them. Uh, if the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never survived all those years of ruthless oppression and slavery down in Egypt. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never made it out of Egypt. Uh, set free from Pharaoh to belong to the Lord. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never made it through the wilderness. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never made it into the promised land through the leadership of Joshua. If the Lord had not been on our side, uh, we would have never survived all the challenges and the struggles that we faced in the land. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never survived our own corrupt leadership. Uh, the sins of our leaders and the sins of the people. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have been swept away in judgment. And eventually they did get judged and taken to Babylon in captivity. But the Lord was on their side. The Lord left them a remnant and worked through that remnant to rebuild them, to restore them. And so if the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never survived the exile. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have never been able to rebuild the temple. Uh, Cyrus, king of Persia, helping fund the return to Jerusalem and the rebuilding of the temple. If the Lord had not been on our side, we would have been swept away. We would have been destroyed. But instead, the Lord set us free like a bird set free from a snare. And there they are going to worship the Lord. It's no wonder they trust in the name of the Lord. The Lord's the maker of heaven and earth. And when the Lord's on your side, who can actually stand against you? Might be plenty come against you, but no one can actually stand against you. You know, I don't know. This is just pure speculation. But I wonder if Jesus would have referred to this psalm in one of his resurrection conversations with the disciples. I can just hear Jesus kind of referring back to this psalm as he talked to the disciples. You know, if the Lord had not been on my side, you know, I would have never made it out of that grave. If the Lord had not been on my side, I would have been swept away. But the Lord saved. And here I am, talk with you, teach you, testify to you that I've been set free from the jaws of death, from the grave itself. If the Lord had not been on my side. And I can also hear Paul talking about it. If the Lord had not been on my side, you know, I would have never made it to all these cities to testify to about the resurrection of Jesus. If the Lord had not been on my side, I would have never been able to write all these letters, uh, even while I was incarcerated. And, and so wherever you find yourself scattered today, the psalmist is challenging us to stop and think for a moment. If the Lord had not been on our side, where would we be? If the Lord had not been on our side, man, we would have been swept away. We might not even be here. We would have been trapped in evil and in bondage to sin if the Lord had not been on our side. So wherever you find yourself scattered today, I challenge you to just kind of stop and think for a moment. If the Lord had not been on my side, our side, where would I be today? Would I even be? Give thanks to the Lord. He's on your side. He sent Jesus to die for you, to die for me, that we could be set free, set free from the power of sin, and that we could live with the hope of resurrection. And so the, and the, the joy 
of reconciliation and peace with God and peace within and peace with one another. If it weren't for the Lord, where would we be today? Well, he's on your side. And so call on his name, uh, the maker of heaven and earth. God bless. Have a great day. And again, the Lord's on our side. If the Lord weren't on our side, who knows where we might be. But he's on our side. So call on him. God bless.